Of course, on the treadmill, um, we have to try to we have to try to fool our our legs into thinking uh, that we have uh, gravity pulling us down to the ground. And so, uh, so to do that, we we have this um, we have this harness that I showed you before, and we're gonna we're gonna put this on. And and this harness is adjustable, and it's got a it's got uh, different straps on it, so we can um, uh, we can change the configuration. We wear running shoes both here and on the A-RED machine that I'll show you here in just a minute. And the, um, we wear these, it's, it's an interesting phenomenon, I, I felt this on my, on my uh, shuttle flight as well, that um, we don't really don't use our feet very much at all, and of course our feet are not feeling the, the force of our body weight, and so, so your nerve endings in the bottom of your feet, which obviously when you're, when you're standing up or when you're walking or doing anything on the planet, um, the nerve endings in the bottom of your feet are very, very important because they're, number one, they're balance cues uh, to be able to tell you if you start leaning, you know, the bottoms of your feet can kind of feel that changing in pressure from one foot to the other and it sends a message to your brain and your brain says, hey, we're leaning to the right, we need to lean back to the left to maintain our balance. Well, when those nerve endings are up here for an extended period of time, actually even just a short period of time and you're not using your feet and not pulling to a pressure on your feet, uh, the bottoms of your feet actually, the nerve endings sort of go dormant and they, uh, uh, they go to sleep. And so when you first put on shoes and um, whether it's been a couple of days and usually it's a few days uh, before you get on the treadmill when you come to the space station and you first put your shoes on and stand on the treadmill under pressure, the bottoms of your feet actually tingle, like uh, the tingling sensation when your nerve endings are sort of waking up or uh, just a little sleepy, uh, sort of like your when your arm falls asleep or something like that, you know, or your leg falls asleep when you're sleeping or sitting or something. It's the very same feeling in the bottom of your feet, and so um, I never really uh, considered that when I when I first uh, came to space, but it's a very very uh, very real uh, phenomenon and, uh, and very uh, important that we, uh, we maintain the health of those nerve endings as well. So um, that's part of what we, uh, we do on the treadmill. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I, I'm, I'm at two clip, a two clip setting now. So I've got two clips on each side and I'll show you how we hook into this bungee. So I'm going to be turning this way to get on the treadmill. And of course, I would tie my shoes as well. But I'm not. Uh, we're only gonna. I'm only gonna demonstrate uh, um, how to get onto the treadmill here. So, so on each side of the tread, we have um, we have these bungees that are that are pretty. They got a pretty good uh, uh, force to them. And if uh, if you go without any clips um, on your belt, and uh, you you hook these to your harness, it actually pulls you down. To about the equivalent of your body weight, so um, so right now I'm at two uh, two clips, and so I'll clip in here on this side. And clip onto the other side. Once we got our our bungees, of course, uh, you know you have to kind of maintain your balance now you can kind of your body sort of feels like it's got gravity now pulling on it and so we just stand up and uh, you can see those uh, see the bungee over here pulling a little bit and um, so that pulls and of course you can adjust this harness uh, to um, uh, to have the right amount of the percentage of the of the, uh, of the force around your hips and on your shoulders so the loading is correct where it kind of gives you the best should should it's never really comfortable, but it's uh, you make it, make it as comfortable as you can, so you can actually finish your protocol, and um, so you can adjust the straps as you need to. Let me just uh, show you how we we get this started in uh, in just a passive mode, and we um, I don't know if you can see the screen, but we have a uh, we have a uh, screen here that we and I'll just select uh, a passive workout. And um, our load is pulling to our target load, and um, and so we hit OK, and um, and we go ahead and go ahead and start, and uh, and this is in the passive mode. So then we can we can and we have this bar that we can hang on to to give ourselves some balance, or we can just. 
kind of uh, use our normal walking uh, gait or running gait um, to get the uh, get the proper uh, proper exercise for us.